Welcome back to Hawks Wrestling, Episode 2. You guys sent us your Twitter questions, and we're here to answer them this week. And the first question from Terry Brands from Cody Gruenwald. Is there a tentative lineup in place right now for 125 through 157 pounds? Tentative lineup? I would say yes, there is a tentative lineup in place. Um, we have uh, capable people there. We have a lot of guys that can fill those five weight classes, and um, we feel like we just need to see who's going to emerge and become the guy at the individual weight class, and, and we have good personnel there. Thank you, Terry. You're Next welcome. Next question from at Bra Man Kip. Are you looking to add to this year's recruiting class, especially the 165 through 197 pound range? Well, we have at least a couple commitments there already, and we are adding to, we're always at wanting to add to our recruiting. Our recruiting is not done. And uh, we have another uh, official visit weekend, and we're bringing at least uh, three to four more guys in on official visits. Uh, stay tuned on November 12th, that's a sign date. Next question right here for Terry Brands. From at Baruka, can we get a Hawks, Hawks Club ladies night? Would like to have a chance to meet wrestlers without battling hundreds of male fans. I didn't realize there was a battle going on there between the sexes, but I think that's something that, you know, we can talk to our uh, people with a Hawk Club about and maybe figure something out that way. Um, or we could put Jenny and Michelle Brands on it, and uh, if Morningstar ever gets busy and finds a wife, we could put his wife in on that too, and probably organize one heck of a ladies' party for y'all. Yes, I would love a ladies' night. That would be great. And, and Jenny Eustace too. I think Luke Eustace has even talked about this and modeling it uh, after the football, the thing that uh, Ferentz and uh, Kirk and Mary Ferentz do, or Mary Ferentz does. So, yeah, that's it's been talked about, but good good interest. Might, might happen with good interest. All right, next question from Mike Tognetti. What school is your all-time favorite rivalry? When I see that or hear that, um, a lot of things pop into my head. Probably the most uh, prevalent is Minnesota. I love Jay Robinson. Love Jay Robinson. I love Jay Robinson. I don't know if I can third that one, but... Another question from Mike Tognetti. Among wrestlers you haven't coached, who is your favorite folk style wrestler of all time? Uh, that's got to be Frank Gotch, Humboldt, Iowa. Wrestled in Kaminsky Park in front of 50, 60,000 fans. Trained by Farmer Burns, another, another great state of Iowa wrestler. And, and uh, he, he was tough. He was one tough guy. Uh, also, you know, there was a guy named Dan Gable who was one of my favorites of all time also, but if I had to pick, I, I'm probably going with Frank Gotch. I think Gable learned a lot from Frank Gotch also. Next question from at Coach Lewin. What is your best conditioning drill Iowa uses? Uh, I think the return to the mat, up, out, return him to the mat up, out, take down. So you put a guy down, he comes up, you put him down, he comes up, you put him down and then he comes up and gets that escape and then he goes right back into his takedown and then you do that where you're coming up and then he puts you back down hard. And that, that guy, that's a great drill. It's a gut check. Next question from at real Zach Gorman. When are open tryouts? The real Zach, so Zach, how you doing? Um, Open tryouts, we don't know if we're gonna have them. Uh, November 8th will be a weekend that we use in some capacity. Won't be probably a head-to-head -head type thing. Um, November 15th, we will be in Decorah, Iowa at the Luther Open. Terry Brands from at C Nelson R12. Is there a chance that Grothus wrestles at 141 pounds this year? I think there is a chance. There's a chance for for anything to happen and uh, I'm not sure what Grothus' Twitter account is, but does he have one? He does? Well, maybe uh, find that out and send him out a, a Twitter. Good idea. All right, Tom Brands from at AV Wrestling Fan. When is the last time Tom and Terry wrestled? Can they share their favorite victory over one another in some type of competition? Some other type of competition. Uh, the last time we wrestled, I'm not real sure. Uh, in a match, it was probably young high school age or maybe uh, junior high. 
I believe. Terry might have a, more of a solid memory there. Um, my favorite victory um, over Terry was in a, a four square game not too long ago in the parking lot of the um, uh, library at the University of Iowa. I thought he beat you though. I don't think so. You want me to answer too? Your rebuttal? Um, I don't remember it that way, but it, that might be. But you know, there were some other things too there. Um, so the last time we wrestled was probably our freshman year in high school. For a wrestle off, that's right. Right? Yeah. And he beat me. We did a three out of five coach. Galen Nelson was our wrestling coach, and he did. We did a three out of five um, series, and Tom um, beat me in the fifth match for 98 pounds. So I moved I up to 105 pounds. Yeah, he had about six pounds on me, but there's no excuses. And that's not why I lost. Greatest victory? Um, I don't know, I would have had to bend those dart gun wars we had. I put it one right between his running lights. I remember that. From at Hemihawk. When will Iowa resume wrestling Iowa style? This no shooting stuff is boring. Who wants to drive two hours for that? Well, I'll say right on. I mean, you're right. Uh, when will it resume? Um, that's a good question. That's kind of more what I like to kind of see on this page here. Um, can't answer that. I can tell you this. I believe in our guys. I believe that we have some guys that wrestle entertaining. And um, this no shooting stuff is boring, you're right. Uh, I always say, kind of inspired by your performance. We want to put 10 guys on the mat that inspire our fans with their performance. And uh, we're always looking for that. And I think we have some guys that can, can um, do a very good job in that, in that way. But again, you know what? It doesn't have to be close. It doesn't have to be a close match. And sometimes they get tight or close, and that's when you gotta blow it open. You don't get tighter and closer when it's tight and close, that's when you blow it open. So that's what we need more of. And uh, Hammy Hawk, sounds like a Dodge guy. So that's kind of a man's man of a question, but you know, who wants to drive two hours for mooring wrestling? Nobody, nobody. We wanna entertain our fans. Good well, question. Yeah, along with that too, It's. I mean, if you, if you know anything about what's going on in this program also, it's not something that we're after. You know, Gable's philosophy and Kurt O'Meyer before that was an entertaining style of wrestling, like he said. And that means that you're scoring a lot of points. You're dinging, you know, you're dinging up those points. Ding, 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 ding. And uh, we're the, to the point where guys can't keep track of it. And, um, you know, I, I feel like that the coaching philosophy is in line with that. And, and I also feel like that I competed that way as a competitor, and I feel like I compete that way as a coach. Right on. Two hours, two minutes. All right. From yeah, there, two minutes. I mean, who'd drive two minutes to watch that? You're right. Morningstar is commentator and host and coach. He does it all. And he just got back at like 3.30 this morning from a trip out to the east, to the Middle East, to the kind of the middle Midwest, to the Midwest, and then back home. All week, man. You were in India? I was. Oh. As far as you know. At Derek Powell from Olin, Iowa, on a scale of one to ten, what degree of cheesiness would you <laughs> would you rate episode one? I would give that a ten for sure. I would say at least a ten. And if you can go higher, you can go higher. I don't know if you can go higher on a scale of one to 10, but if you could, it's pretty cheesy. That's our good friend too. So we appreciate your support. Right on, last question from Josh in Iowa City. It's for Terry. What is the last movie you saw that wasn't war related? I saw Lone Survivor in the movie theater about whenever, close to when it came out. That's a war movie. All right, that's a war movie. Oh, uh, it doesn't have to be in the theater. Uh, well, Sunday night I watched The Ghost and Mr. Chicken with my family. 
uh, Don Knotts, classic Happy Halloween. Halloween movie. Happy Halloween, yeah. Right. I recommend it. All right, that's all we have for this week. Uh, that concludes episode two. Uh, episode three will be airing soon. We've, we're not quite sure on the date. I'll let you talk about that, Tom. Uh, we don't know. Hey, send your ideas for episode three. Our man Chris Brewer will be eyeing uh, Hawks underscore wrestling. Send us your ideas, and it might be a little longer than next week because, you know, November 12th is a sign date. So it might be a good topic for episode three as well. So send your ideas to Hawks underscore wrestling. Thanks for participating.